Dr. Ben Carson made the rounds on the Sunday talk show, slamming the media for questioning claims he's made about his past. Here's what he said on NBC's Meet the Press. I have always said that I, I expect to be vetted, but being vetted and what is going on with me, you said this 30 years ago, you said this 20 years ago, this didn't exist, this didn't exist. You know, I, I just, I have not seen that with anyone else. Well, keeping them honest, one piece of Dr. Carson's past that is still raising questions didn't happen 20 or 30 years ago. It's much more recent history. During the last Republican debate, Dr. Carson denied having any links to the nutritional supplement company Manitech. Take a look. I didn't have an involvement with them. That is total propaganda. And this is what happens in our society, total propaganda. I did a couple of speeches for them. I did speeches for other people. They were paid speeches. It is absolutely <laughs> absurd to say that I had any kind of a relationship with them. Do I take the product? Yes, I, I think it's a good product. Well, as we reported before, Dr. Carson's claim that he has no ties at all to Manitech don't actually stand up to scrutiny. Our senior investigative correspondent, Drew Griffin, has been digging deeper, and tonight he has new information. Yes, I, I think it's a good product. This is the product at the center of this political controversy. Ambrotose is a dietary supplement sold by a company called Manitech. It's made up of tree bark, aloe gum, and other natural products, supposedly to support better health. In 2013, Manitech reported sales of more than $170 million, selling this product based on what it claims is the science of glyconutrients. Glycobiology is... Ronald Schnarr, a professor of pharmacology and neuroscience at Johns Hopkins Medical School, says there's no science about it. Glyconutrients is a made-up term. There's no established uh, evidence that these are useful. That has been a problem for Manitech in the past. The Texas Attorney General sued the company back in 2007, charging Manitech with orchestrating an unlawful marketing scheme that exaggerated their product's health benefits. In fact, state officials charged Manitech's marketing materials falsely claimed its dietary supplements could cure and treat Down syndrome, cystic fibrosis, cancer, and other serious illnesses. The Texas Attorney General back in 2007 called that a sham. Yes. And you would agree? We totally agree. Manitech and its founder eventually paid seven million dollars to settle the suit without admitting any wrongdoing and stopped making claims it could cure anything. And I'm a candidate for president. So what does all this have to do with doctor and presidential candidate Ben Carson? This. Let me just briefly delve into how I became associated with the products of this company. Ben Carson has a relationship with Manitech spanning nearly a decade since he began taking the product to promote his own health. Beginning in 2004 up until 2013, Dr. Carson made four speeches in front of Manitech sales associates. For the most recent speech, the company says Carson was paid $42,000. For the three previous speeches, the company made donations to the Carson Scholarship Fund but wouldn't say how much. In his speeches and testimonial interviews used in promotional videos, Carson discussed how he beat prostate cancer with surgery while taking Manitech's dietary supplements. That was as close to nature as I could possibly get. And, and that's really how I settled on, on glycolutrients. And up until he decided to run for president, Dr. Ben Carson's image was front and center on Manitech websites and promotional Manitech. material. This is Ray Robbins with the Platinum Group. We are proud to be the exclusive sponsors of the program that you're about to watch with Dr. Ben Carson. Manitech distributors calling themselves the Platinum Group even signed on to underwrite Ben Carson's public television special. CNN spoke with three former sales and marketing insiders at Manitech who say the involvement by the esteemed neurosurgeon went a long way toward legitimizing a product the scientific community was calling worthless. A neuroscientist was definitely somebody that the company wanted to have on their side, have on their team, in order to grow the company in a very legitimate way. It's obvious why Manitech wanted a highly respected neurosurgeon to speak highly of its product. What's not so obvious is why a respected neurosurgeon would let his name to such an unproven product. We asked about that at Johns Hopkins, where Ben Carson became a famous neurosurgeon. We here 
at a major medical and biomedical research institution have a special responsibility to abide by evidence and to share evidence-based knowledge with people. And whenever anybody here falls short of that standard, to me, that's disappointing. Dr. Carson was asked about his relationship with Manitech in the recent CNBC debate. Well, that's easy to answer. I didn't have an involvement with them. That is total propaganda. And this is what happens in our society, total propaganda. I did a couple of speeches for them. I did speeches for other people. They were paid speeches. It is absolutely absurd to say that I had any kind of a relationship with them. Because that answer didn't quite square with the speeches, the promotional videos, and the underwriting of his PBS specials, CNN called the Ben Carson campaign asking for an interview. The response from the campaign's business manager, quote, this will never happen. You are up to no good. We don't trust you. Last week, we approached the candidate himself at a book signing in Lakeland, Florida. Dr. Carson, oh, on the bus, on the bus. And without any hesitation, we were invited right onto his bus for a two-minute interview. We're here to talk about a subject that your campaign manager says you don't want to talk about. What's this man attack thing? Mm -hmm. But I've got to ask you, given your stature in the medical community, why were you involved at all, whatever the relationship was, in a company that was selling a product that the Texas Attorney General says is a sham product? Well, remember, they contracted me to give a speech. I do not, you know, go into great depth when I get a contract to do a speech. I go and do the speech. And uh, I happen to like their product. Since I've been taking it, I almost never get sick. But, you know, I constantly warn them not to use me as an endorser and some of the associates took the tapes and they put them up on websites and stuff like that. There's nothing I can do to control that. Weren't you concerned at the time, even after, I mean, this was 2007, 2008, 2009, that they were using your image, using your image? Well, interviews? I didn't know that they were doing that. You did not know? No. Do you endorse that product for its... I, benefits because I, I just talked to a I, microbiologist today who said yeah. there's no scientific proof that this works at it, all. It, it may not, and all I say is I take it because I almost never get sick anymore, and I used to get sick a lot, so I like it. So this product, $200 a month or so, you would recommend? I take it for myself. I have never gotten into the process of endorsing anything officially. I've made it clear that I wasn't going to do that. Oh, you're trying to get me to endorse the product. I'm not going to do it. I'm not getting to endorse the product. I'm trying to, trying to get your answer I'm just to the question that a, that a glycobiologist just, from just, John Hopkins I'm, I'm just say. telling you that personally, yeah. I have found the nutritional supplements to be good. Yeah. And are you I've, concerned at all that there's no clinically proven study that says it works? I, I, do, not, I do not endorse it for anybody else except for me. Dr. Carson, thanks. Good luck to you. Drew Griffin joins us now. So he says he, he, not only does he use the product, but his mom does as well? Yeah, she suffers from Alzheimer's since, I think, 2011. He says that she takes it. And I asked him, does it work for her? Uh, he says it seems to. How can he claim, though, like he did in the CNBC debate, that there's no relationship with Manitech? I mean, he gave repeated speeches. He's been in promotional material. They underwrote something he did on, on public broadcasting, a special that was underwritten by associates of the company. It sure sounds like a relationship, I guess, is the definition of what a relationship exactly is. You know, all we can do is kind of lay out the facts. And uh, for about a decade, he had this, I would call it a relationship, Anderson, with Manatech. Uh, he was on their website. He says they didn't have his, uh, you know, uh, approval to use that but he didn't stop them from using it either but all we can do is lay out the facts let the people decide whether or not this was a relationship or what kind of relationship it was and, and right. there are the facts and he says he uses the product and despite the fact there's no clinical research that say it works he says it works for him